My God, we've got a wild herd of Jeeps up here. Act natural, be cool, they won't notice. Hello, fellow Jeep enthusiasts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dude, this is Lil Gabri. Me too, what? Oh, I think we got him, boys. <laughs> I've, only, I've never seen one in the wild. Oh, yes. Oh my God, oh my God. Hang on, oh my God, just don't drive anymore. All right, boys, good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are testing the 6x6 off-road at Roush Creek. It's going to be, I think, it's going to be epic. My son, he wants a he wants a Rubicon. Okay. Or not a Rubicon, a, a Gladiator. Oh, that, that's what this is. Yeah, that's But what six I mean. wheel. Yeah, he, that thing. Heck yeah. What's up, man? How are you? How are you? Uh, Roush Creek off-road park with it and for the first time. So we're going to see how it off-roads. Okay. And I think it'll do pretty well. What do you guys think? Do you think it'll do better off-road the same or maybe worse i think it'll do better in some situations and then the same in others now a lot of people say like oh it's too long to off-road but you got to think about it you have to think about think about it it's longer but the the length is an extra set of wheels so it should be like the space from there to there is the same it should be fine i think it'll do great but we're gonna find out i think it'll i think it'll do better in some areas because you got more wheels. How can it be better? More is better. We know this. Power, Always. wheels, whatever. Uh, California by Next to Level Off-Road. Oh, man. Is that where you're from, Cal? No, no. I'm from, I'm from Hershey, but... You had to build it? Yeah, I just got it uh, four days ago. They even loved it. The people in the golf, uh, the golf wagon. <laughs> That's great. Do people like it? Dude, I like hey, it. I'm telling you, man. This is, a, uh, this is a combo right here. It is. It is. What we do, we come to Sheets, and just, just hang out, just try stand and here. People. They did that in high school. Kids oh, wow. in high school would come here. Nobody knows why. It's a gas station. Hours. Well, Sit everyone hours. Because people in New Mexico do it at Sonic. Like, that's their Sheets. I'm sure everyone watching right now, everyone has their little redneck hangout. Does everyone have a Sheets where the rednecks come and hang out at night? <laughs> you guys got to hear this sucker right here. 750 to the wheels. Beautiful color. Mustang again someday? Someday. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, it sounds great. Well, I guess we can uh, hit the road. Yeah, dude, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I think she'll do amazing. One thing I am noticing, it does draw a crowd, like I said, and like you saw back there. So if you're a very private person, which I, of course, am not, I actually was. Like, I was a very introverted person. I had to learn to become and adapt to becoming like a person who talks to a lot of people all the time, but I love it. I'll use any excuse to talk about vehicles. If you don't want to talk to people, don't get a Jeep with six wheels. I don't, it's like weird. I, I don't know why people talk about a six wheel Jeep. It's totally normal, but they do. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, I think we got him, boys. I think we got him. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I don't think I'll be taking it to the drag strip anytime soon. But you can see it's quick enough. It, you know, it gets moving, it's quick even on the highway at highway speeds. And because it's the eight speed trans, even though we have four tens at 78 miles per hour, it's not even at 3000, which is really nice. I like that. Such a cool place, a playground of thousands of acres to off-road your off-road rig. Oh my God, look at that like crawler thing over there. Very cool. It's, just, it's an epic place. It's a big playground for adults people like me who never really grew up. Highly recommend Roush Creek if you are in the PA, like New York area. It's worth, even if you have to drive a few hours, it's worth it. I see some Jeep guys and uh, I see some, some phones out for pictures. Hopefully we get some people, you know, they come up to us and we can ask them how they feel on camera seeing this truck. I feel like if you're a Jeep person, this is pretty cool. Yes. You don't mind, I gotta get some pictures of that. Heck yeah, please do, please. I was hope. I was hoping I get to talk to some Jeep guys and ask them what they think of it. That is badass. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? What do you think? Whoa, I want to see your wheel. Oh. I know. I can't wait to see it as well. That is unbelievable. I love those sights. How long you had the side steps on? Oh, yeah. um, the, are those rock sliding? Yeah, they put those on it. It's got like a big rock slider. Yeah. Pretty yeah. nice. 
Have you had any problems with them so far? Yet? No, not well. Oh, it's only you, it's only four days old, oh, okay. so there oh, is time for it to okay. fail. But oh, so far, it's been awesome. Everybody's bringing new jeeps out here. Today. You look at it and you think it's going to be awful, but actually the middle set of wheels is where the normal rear wheel for a gladiator right, would right. be so it shouldn't be any more susceptible to getting high centered yeah. than a regular one no yeah. how does it pull i mean this good is, so it's got four tens it can't uh, be light yeah it's not light it's got to be heavy as hell uh but it you know it gets up to speed i'm not going to yeah. enter any drag races but right, it, right. it does well the rear looks like a 44 <laughs> judging by the cover on Ooh. it that is incredible. <laughs> I've only—I've never seen one in the wild. I haven't either. I've seen the pictures. Um, can I check out the? Yeah, other? yeah. Feel free. Go ahead. Are you ready, partner? Yes, sir. You want me to lead? Yes. Okay. Well, we're about to embark upon the Great Crusade. Special points if you know what that's from. You can put it in the comments below. We're about to embark upon the Great Crusade. What? I thought that was my gladiator making that noise. It was that trailer. I was like, oh my god, I ran over someone so i'm gonna take point and we'll see how it goes this is it boys this is it the gladiator six by six is about to go off-roading real off-roading we interrupt this program for an important news announcement really quick before we get into the upload this is the final day the last day to get 20 times entries to win my six by six jeep gladiator that's right we're giving away that truck hundred thirty thousand dollar vehicle yours for getting a t-shirt or a key tag or a hat whatever you want to get shanedesigns.com link is down below every five dollars you spend gets you 20 automatic entries to win this is the final day for it we will not be doing another 20 times entry day or a bigger entry multiplier than that so if you're waiting to get entered do it right now and good luck guys this would be a good time to engage four wheel drive we're gonna go four four low make it easy on the trans four low all right we're in stability off and four low which i guess really means six low which is pretty freaking cool you know it would have been awesome if they put a little updated shift knob that said like six low but we're in we're in low now so we're we're loaded and ready make no mistake there are some nasty trails at roush creek now we're gonna do the basic like um you know trails meant for a, a jeep that you also drive not like a dedicated off-road jeep but i mean they've got everything and even the basic trails are more off-roading and, and crazier than what 95% of people do. I mean, most people like their off-roading is going on a, a little trail to like a hunting cabin. This this is real, so it can get pretty gnarly. You never know how deep these things are. Because some kind of will get you. Some of them like they don't look that deep and then they're six feet deep, literally. But it's out of the depth. The gator. Oh, oh yeah. Look at them six wheels turn. It does work amazing. So when you, I'm assuming when you hit the switch for four wheel drive, it, it engages the back too. Like all oh, four yeah, back well, here. It's constant four. You're in two wheel, like, nor okay, normal truck, normal Jeep, you're in two wheel drive, it's the two back wheels. This, like your two wheel drive, is all four in the back. Put it in four wheel drive, then you're two in the front lock in. That's insane. So yeah, it's four wheel drive all the time. In four in four wheel drive, it's six wheel drive. So these two in the back are always engaged. Always engaged. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it always. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Those wheels get nice and tucked. <laughs> I mean, you're, I'm sure your back is. I'll I'll get on it then. It's a tight turn for a long time. Dude, it, it's. I'm sure stuff is slipping all over the place. Oh yeah. I can't believe you made that turn that easy, dude. <laughs> your one your one axle's dragging a little bit. It's effective though. The the Raptor like had kind of troubles making it through this and now a six by six gladiator just did that no problem with the slightest of wheel rub. Sweet. Oh yeah, I wanted to see the wheels top. That's all I want. 
God, that is ridiculous. Okay. Looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give the frame a little bit of a rub. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, my God. We've got a wild herd of Jeeps up here. Oh, my God. A whole, a whole gaggle of them. What we got to do is act natural, be cool. They won't notice. Hello, fellow Jeep enthusiasts. Hello. How are you? I think that looks a little bit safer than what we got. Heck yeah, I don't know. I mean, it. we'll find out, I guess. Wait, you have a YouTube? Is lo yes. You do? Yep. What's your YouTube? It's uh, Street Speed 717. Oh, okay. Street Speed 717. Good luck, guys. Have fun. You might be thinking, well, Mike, I thought you said there were really tough trails. And this is, a, you know, a basic one. But there are trails like this straight up a rock we're not going up that so i mean it looks like it, it's natural this is its natural habitat but then again it, it just doesn't it's like why is a prop from a hollywood movie out here <laughs> from fast and furious 23. So some of these trails are kind of small i think your truck's just a little big buddy <laughs> guess those are like 44s maybe 40. 40s one ton. beautiful yeah. one ton axles 40s heck yeah up. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> they're so cool looking. Air it down too. I love whenever like you just see the rubber like uh -huh. grabbing the rock. I should air down a little. I air down like a little bit, but I should have air down more too. These things are freaking awesome. Freaking Snorkel awesome. on there. Yeah, we got a convoy going. I gotta say, it's like you know everyone makes fun of Jeep people, but I kind of missed it. I do like it. It's fun. It's a good community. Like it really is fun. It might not be all right because that might, oh my God. Oh God, what have I gotten him into? I mean, first off, you can't even make the turn to get up here. So that's strike one. And these Jeep Gladiators, they just don't look right until you have those big chunky tires on them and a lift. And then they're a whole different vehicle. Just gorgeous, gorgeous looking truck. Watch this rock over here. That's the only one I'm worried about. I lied to you, buddy. It's, it's not good. Dude, but I'll tell you what, man. These six wheels, like, anytime I get mildly stuck, a little bit more throttle, it just goes. Yeah, the other the other axle just gets you out it's of like there. It's, like, unbelievable. Like, it is truly unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Well, now we're spinning. Well, you, you got a lot of turn here. Just watch. Your clearance on the right's a little tight, too, dude. Is it? Okay. But definitely favor that side because you take less damage. Go back down a little bit. I can get that rock out of the way. Close. I hope your back makes it. <laughs> oh yeah, right up that. Yeah, buddy. Gorgeous. I mean, it is steep here. Like I have to lean forward, and that heavy Jeep with an extra axle, it is bopping around a little bit, but it makes it up like no problem. Look at the audience back there. Got the full, I don't know if you guys can even see them, but we got the full audience watching. <laughs> um, so yeah, I better not screw up. Got a whole, a big group of Jeep uh, Jeepers back there and uh, everyone loves it. You know, and that's the cool, kind of like the Lambo, one of the joys for me of driving it is seeing people get all excited about it. Not because like, oh, they, you know, they think I'm cool, you know, but it's just, cause as a kid and even as an adult, when I see somebody else with a, a cool car or something unique, I get excited. And, uh, you know, it really puts a smile on your face seeing people, they see it and they literally light up or they like, they're just 
starstruck by because it it's like I've never seen something like that before so it's really fun it's really genuinely fun for that reason like it's really cool huge bummer the 6x6 is doing too well I'm not even gonna get to test out my winch that's lame uh, but maybe someday I'll need it so let's just not have to use it days like this you really appreciate everything you have you come out here have fun and uh, Memorial Day weekend so a big thank you and uh, just always remember those who gave their lives so that we could have fun days like this and and uh, you know on this long weekend just uh, remember remember that because we're really fortunate here and this is just it's one of those moments you know we're out here having a great time just literally a day to have fun you can see the truck looking pretty much straight down <laughs> oh I think you're go yeah you're golden all right keep going How's that light bar? Yeah, your light bar is fine go you're good floor it <laughs> the trailer hitch. <laughs> yes. You jumped the TRX. Yes, I did, sir. No Mike, brother, nice to meet I'm you. I'm all the way from Iowa. Iowa? You just no. out here to wheel? Uh, my friends up here live in Maryland. Okay. And I was like, holy sh dude, I recognize you. I followed you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you may want to step off that. I I just it by the rim. Oh, man. Yeah, you're good now if you straighten out. Just watch your drop here. That's a it's a big fall. Oh, you got so much ground clearance though. It, it really does. Should be good, right? Let's get this. Good. Yeah, you, those wheels will tuck up here nice. I think actually it's long enough that it like kind of bridges the gap between them, so it's. Yeah, you never even have to worry about the fall because yeah, you're always well. up in the air. Is it possible the 6x6 is better than a regular one? Like what, what's sad is though, it's been proving itself all day. Yeah, I like, feel like it kind of is. Never once has this thing been like, because oh man. Because that, like Turner's Raptor was, like Turner's Raptor was really built amazing. Bigger than that, you know, taller. Yep. And this did it way better than that. Yeah, I, I'm only saying it's not because I just can't believe it, but it, it is. The facts show today that it has done better. The Raptor is scraping and tucking and everything. It's so cool because the drive shaft right there like goes in and out like it because it, it has such a small period of flex. Stuff on now. A rock? I can't no, I just yeah, just back up. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What Hang on! Oh my god! Just don't drive anymore. You're all, oh my god! I didn't even see this. What the hell? Oh, am I dragging the whole rock? Oh, that ain't good. I think you're good though. If you go forward, you're gonna clear it now. Forward. Yeah, well, look how much you'd have to get out. That whole wheel's off the ground. Here, let me... Forward or back? I think backwards. No, dude, you have so much you'd have to clear with it. Forward, it just has a little bit. The only thing is, then you got to get it out from under you. Let's see what way he goes. Yeah, I think he's going forward. Yep, you're good. Oh, my God, that was so bad. I was wondering what was going on. Oh, back wheel now. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. It's going to lift the whole back of the truck up. Keep going. That would have been kind of cool. <laughs> I don't want to break. It was huge. I don't dude. Like, break it, you would have been way up in the that air. Right huge, oh yeah. my god. I'm just gonna try oh, you got move. another rock right I here. Know if I can move it. Don't pinch it. Don't let it like just roll up into the oh frame. Oh my god, dude. Watch your toes. Oh. <laughs> dude, it's like uh, this thing's like. Well, dude, obviously, it's a it's a massive rock. Dude, it's like 300 pounds. Oh, uh, you want me to help I, you? I gotta back up and then turn hard left. Good. I guess that's a little bit easier than taking the risk of just running over this massive rock. I think from the rest of the way up, it's just, it's now it's getting it turned because you got to make a pretty big, like 12 point turn up here to get this thing situated. And I don't know how that's going to be possible with this gladiator. Doing good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got a big rock here. Where is it? It's it's just huge. It's in between both your wheels. You're gonna have to back up and, and pick away. Either uh, probably go that way. Just back up like a foot. Yeah. Now now go hard passenger. Slow. Oh yeah. Yep. One more. One more. Yeah, you're off. I'm free, buddy. That's it, we're out.
the Gladiator, conquering green, blue, and black trails. Not a scratch on it, dude. There you go, boys. I hope y'all enjoyed that even like half as much as I did in the truck. It was a ton of fun. Roush Creek always is. And yeah, the 6x6 made it out without even a scratch, if you can believe it. She did great. Now, let's be real. That is way more off-roading, way tougher stuff than 99% of people who buy a truck like this are, are ever going to do. Or if you win it, uh, people are going to drive it on the road, which I'm not I'm not making fun of them. That's what I do. I drive it on the road 99% of the time. But uh, just the fact that, you know, it can do it. Now, again, I would have to take up an identical Gladiator without six wheels, but same lift and on 37s and compare them so i can't say like yes it's drastically better than a regular one but i can tell you it's for sure not worse and that's incredible to think like it's it's so much more truck way longer but it's not where it's arguably it's arguably better and for sure not worse which i think is fantastic everything where like those axles you got to think all the engineering that goes into it and i told next level i said when i was getting it i was like i'm gonna off-road it and they said go for it and I really like it works. You drive it on those trails, it behaves like a factory Jeep. And you saw all the stuff out there. It kept up no problem. It really it just very, very, very impressive. I can't believe I can't believe it. I'm enjoying driving it on the road and it off road and it off roads that well. It's the real deal, boys. It really is. And I'm not sure as cool as Stradman's is, and as much as before this, I thought, you know, the Hellcat swap or whatever, that would be amazing. If you're gonna off-road it, I'm not so sure you'd want more power. It, it did that so well, and it was so easy to drive on those trails. It might just, it might be good the way it is. Let me know what you think of the 6x6 in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Take care, have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.